Roberts Oxygen in Gaithersburg is doing its part to help keep the Pfizer vaccine safe by manufacturing dry ice. The temperature of dry ice is 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit and it's very important for the shipping and storing of the Pfizer vaccine. To ensure that the vaccine doesn't spoil, it needs to be kept extremely cold. We pick up liquid CO2 from multiple sources in a trailer. We feed it into a bulk tank for storage. The bulk tank feeds into the dryest machines that we have here in Gaithersburg. That machine takes liquid CO2, it compresses it, lowers the pressure, and turns it into solid carbon dioxide, which is dry ice. The FDA approved the Pfizer vaccine, which was found to be 95% effective in fighting COVID-19. Before its approval, Roberts Oxygen started receiving an increase in requests from hospitals and pharmacies. At that time, most, if not all, customers or inquiries, no one really knew how much they needed. In the spring, the company helped supply medical oxygen to local field hospitals. Now it's making use of its two dry ice machines. We have the capacity to, to make a lot of dry ice, a lot more than what we're being asked for. Each of these machines can make 1,600 pounds worth of dry ice in an hour. Robert's Oxygen has been spending six and a half hours per day making dry ice. Manufacturing dry ice is half the, the battle. The other half of the equation is distribution, getting it to where it needs to be on time. There's different ways of shipping it. Large quantities are normally shipped in a 500 pound bin. Smaller quantities are often shipped in cardboard boxes that hold 50 pounds of dry ice. The FDA also recently approved the Moderna vaccine. The Moderna vaccine doesn't require sub-zero storage. It does still need to be kept cold. But in terms of shipping, dry ice is used for shipping all types of um, materials, probably including the Moderna um, vaccine. Reporting in Gaithersburg, Deirdre Byrne for my MCM.